everyone, welcome to Bowser Training Lead Code Solution. If you want the best mock interview experience in North America, please feel free to check us out at bowsertraining.org. And also, if you would like to receive constant updates regarding technical interviews and all sorts of other things, um, please feel free to su subscribe our WeChat here and uh, you won't regret it. All right, so today we're going to talk about this problem, um, permutations. So this is a very uh, classic or typical problem for recursion using DFS. So uh, basically giving you an array so, um, of numbers within all possible permutations. So in this case, um, lead code makes an assumption that all those numbers will be unique. But in real life interviews, uh, it's always better to ask your interviewers whether there's, there's gonna be duplicate element or not. So because here uh, everything is unique, so all you need to do is basically um, keep recursion and you, uh, you will need uh, to, uh, in order to avoid duplicate, you want to basically keep uh, a track of whether this element has already been added to the solution or not. If this is added, you want to skip it or else you just uh, add it. All right. Um, so for time complexity, because you list, you we all know permutations is uh, n factorial, uh, that would basically be the time complexity. And in order to print out all the uh, re store all the results, so the space complexity is also uh, o n factorial. Um, because if we're using this list, this list will takes extra o n space but because your final solution is still bounded to n factorial, so the time complexity is still o n factorial. Okay, so let's code this up real quick. Some validation. Now we need to recurse. Um, we need this array, we'll need a helper, and we'll need a final result. Okay. Here, whenever you write recursion, you need to know you want to know your returning uh, conditions, which is when the length equals to my least size, and you want to make a deep copy about this list. Okay, and then you just need to look through this array and you want to check whether this element has been added or not. If it's not, you want to add this element and then keep going and then after that you remove the already added element okay so let's take a look the recursion result boundary check got the intermediate temporary result list and then 
the length is equal. So here, basically, starting at every time we check whether this element is added or not, because we assume it's unique. So if it's not added, keep recursion, and after recursion, we pop out the last element. Okay, let's see. Seventeen. Uh oh. Really lost. Okay, so when the input is zero one, the output will be zero one and one zero. Why mine is one solution? Let's see. Plus two sides. Add this. This already contains this number. You continue, you don't want to do it again, so every time you this list will add this number. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry about that. Okay, so basically, the uh, again, the time and the space complexity is O n factorial. Thank you for watching.